Using a touchscreen feels more natural than operating a computer with keyboard and mouse. The internet is full of videos of toddlers and pets who grasp the rudiments of touchscreen interaction. Mike Knupfel, a recent graduate of New York University's interactive telecommunications program, has created devices that extend this intuitive mode of interaction. These devices exploit capacitive sensing to let users interact with touchscreens in new ways. Technology Review asked Knupfel to demonstrate some of them. One of the strengths of the touchscreen interface is that it's very versatile, it's uh, very flexible, all sorts of um, interesting interfaces with touches and swipes, and you can do an infinite amount of button layouts. But one of the things that's um, kind of lacking is uh, the tactile feedback. It's the touchscreen itself is kind of a cold, hard, slick surface. So in creating these designs, uh, I wanted to bring uh, more more of a tactile feel and more expressiveness to this cold hard interface. For example, I created digital signet rings. Signet rings are rings that have a unique conductive pattern on them. First thing you do is you take the ring and you touch it to the screen. That sets the pattern. You can see the triangular pattern matches on the screen. Hit OK. Now when I touch the ring to the screen, I'm able to twist and unlock secret stuff. If I take a ring, that has a different conductive pattern like this one and touch it to the screen, the pattern doesn't match. It's, you're unable to unlock or get into the content. The same thing happens if you try and use your fingers on the screen. One of the things I discovered early on in experimenting um, with the touch screens uh, was that you could use uh, conductive materials um, to trigger uh, presses on the screen. So by bridging the area between your finger and the touch screen with something like copper tape or conductive foam, you're able to trigger uh, presses on the screen uh, from afar. For more expressive input uh, into the iPad, I created two pressure sensitive styluses. Uh, on capacitive touchscreens as it is now, um, you're either touching the screen or you're not touching the screen. The screen's unable to detect how hard you're pressing down. So the mechanical stylus works by uh, mimicking a pinch and zoom gesture. As you press down on the stylus tip, a secondary arm swings out. And by measuring the distance between these two points, um, you're able to determine the size of the brush stroke. So as I press down on the stylus tip, the secondary arm swings out, making the brush stroke larger. And as I ease up on the pressure, the secondary arm moves closer towards the tip and therefore makes the brush size smaller. Along with exploring new ways to input data uh, into a touch screen. I also looked at ways of getting data out of the screen. Uh, one such way that I came up with uh, was by placing a light sensor over the pixel area on the screen. So for example, uh, the robot has two light sensors on the bottom which are placed over special zones on the screen. Uh, this top one uh, is mapped to the rotation of my finger uh, around the screen so it gets lighter and darker. And this other swatch is mapped to how close my finger is to the hamburger. So as my finger gets closer and farther away from the hamburger, it gets lighter and darker. So if I place the robot with the two light sensors directly over there, uh, the robot's actions react to uh, the touch input. So as I move my finger closer to the uh, hamburger, you can see that the arm moves in and out. Uh, the same is true with the head. As I rotate uh, my finger around, the head will follow the, the position uh, of my finger. I think in the future, uh, smartphones and tablets with capacitive touchscreens uh, will become even more popular than they are today. And I think uh, the next step is for external hardware devices that work with capacitive touchscreens uh, to follow suit.